day or to be worth a million dollars or to, in my life, establish a million dollars. That's why uh, Brother Akbar, he, he used that as a focal point that he's still working to, he want to become a millionaire as an independent businessman, and he can. Uh, Imam Muhammad brought that in focus in such a simple way with CPC. It was so easy. I challenge every community in this country of Muslims that say they follow the Imam W.D. Muhammad. If you got 500 members, you can have a million dollars as quick as Imam W.D. Muhammad had. You know how long it took him? About as long as he, it took him to speak over the mic. The word went out. He was getting phone calls in from businessmen that had $2,000 in their pocket. And I don't know how long it took him to get a million or, or 500 or a million or half a long. But I know he got a million because they went and made a purchase. And, uh, and that didn't take him any longer to do. Not a whole lifespan. <laughs> not his, not till he retired. And not, he didn't have to rob, steal, or do anything. All he had to do was tap into the resource that Allah already gave us. That we're a community, we're a market, we're people who trust each other. There's people who come over here, communities, African communities, they do this every day. Latinos, we know the uh, Jewish community, they pool their resources. Whenever they need some money, all they do is ask their community for it. They don't put it on the news and tell everybody. They just get what they need. But we should do it even if we, we don't know what we're going to do with it when we get it. Because a lot of people, uh, it's in our nature that if you give a person something that they, not, they never had before, it's of extreme value. A lot, most of the time, you can almost bet or count on it that they're going to abuse it in some kind of way. But that's like this earth. We lived on this earth for how many years before man ever built a computer? The, it, the computer was always in the earth, right? right? And the rocket ship and all of that it was in the earth. It was dead. But uh, it's somewhere to start. Uh, if you if you got a problem and you think you need money and you and you you're ashamed to admit you don't know what to do with it when you get it, just go get it. Put it in the bank. Put it in a savings account somewhere and don't touch it. And then come back to me and tell me you got the million dollars and I can help you do something. <laughs> Inshallah. But that's not the purpose. The purpose is that we should stop whining and complaining and being hypocrites. Most of the stuff that come out of our mouth is not right. It's not sincere. And that's why Allah is not blessing us. Because we lie to ourselves and we lie to everybody around us about our problems and our circumstances and why we're in these circumstances with these problems. We perpetuate them, we enforce them, and, uh, and we seem to like it, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. But uh, we can have anything we want as a people, as a group, anytime we want. The reason why Allah forbid gambling, I say this all the time, mm -hmm. is because gambling, there's no hope in it. But faith? Let's say this brother needs some help financially, and I give him some money in sincerity. I say, well, how much does he need? I got a little extra money. This might hurt me. It'll take me a while to put it back in my safe. I give it to him. And then five minutes later, somebody tells me, man, that dude a crackhead. <laughs> you know what he's doing with your money right now. Did I fail? Or did Allah bless me? Allah blessed me the minute I made that conscious decision. I could have pulled the money out of my pocket. And somebody could have snatched it from my hand. I still got the full credit and the full blessing. And my faith has, if I'm a true believer, my faith has increased as if I did save the life of another human right. Exactly. So I know what I've done. I can save the world a hundred times over. And I feel like it. I live my life like that. Because that's my intention. Whenever I set out to do something, I set out to do the best I can with the ability that I have. And I pray to, for Allah, to Allah for strength and more ability so I can do better. So we have to be sincere and to be right, and Allah will give us whatever we need, even the stuff that we lie and say we need really don't. Need. <laughs> <laughs> That's joking. But uh, we have, we probably have some announcements to make, and uh, uh, I can share with you all some of the things we do. But we we, we put a lot of the, the things that uh, I do personally for the mosque is, and our future plans and past plans on our website. You can see it on the website. I hear Muslim, I see Sister Latifah or something like that, I have to recognize her. And uh, she's welcome to have the mic anytime she wants. Her, her husband let us uh, do a prayer earlier, and so he's probably still around here. Oh, she's next. Okay, so I don't have to do that. Okay. I just heard some good news about Muslim Journal and their banquet that's coming up. And uh, Alhamdulillah. Okay. I got a question. Yes. Where's the envelopes at? 
We passed them out. We can bring some more in. Uh, there you go. Uh, envelopes. Oh, they're right there in that chair. That, yeah. Yeah, so alhamdulillah, I'm going to bring Sister Latifa up. She's going to give us some updates on the uh, Muslim Journal Banquet and uh, some other community events are going on. But I, if I had more time, I would give you all some updates on the Muslim yeah. Council. Uh, a few of y'all have heard about it, but we're working up to an inaugural uh, banquet that's going to introduce this Muslim Council. And we're all equal members. This, this, this is a council made up of the major Muslim organizations in the country. And we have the major ones uh, represented in the council. We've been meeting for several years. I've been telling you about that. And uh, we have a date set now. Uh, uh, I believe this the date. Uh, I don't have it in front of me, but I'll, I'll update you all on that. And uh, we're going to ask for support from leadership and from the community to come so that we can have a voice on, in this national council. Imam Muhammad encouraged us to uh, not to join immigrant Muslims. I don't want to be like Muhammad encouraged us not to, but we're Muslims and we're part of a bigger community of Ummah. And this is a fast pace, a fast moving time, and they're experiencing a lot of growth in their communities and in their culture. And we would be doing ourselves a disservice not to at least let them see firsthand who we are and what our needs are and what we represent. And they may discover, which I'm helping them discover, that we different in a lot of ways, mm -hmm. night and day. You know, I, I was surprised this, that uh, the last meeting I was at, I told them, I said, I'm a 20 year volunteer. I don't take no money from my community. I'm trying to figure out what the programs and the services we're going to put into that. So we can really help. We can really help. Uh, and if they don't want our help, then you'll hear about when they kick me out of the council. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to help them the best way that I can and the best way that I know how. And uh, our voice will be heard. And I think we can do a lot to help the uh, Muslim image in America. We know what the president said about us that we can help change the image for all Muslims. You know, just because, uh, let's see if I got a, my little sister or little brother's crazy, don't mean the whole family had to be crazy. <laughs> you know, you can be good and make your whole family look good, although one person could be crazy as they can be. Not saying that that's a good uh, <laughs> interpretation, but that's the way the world sees. They're ignorant about what Islam is, and I think we're the best example uh, that's right. for the Muslims here today and for uh, non-Muslims, yeah. for all Americans, that uh, we can, we really need to be heard and need to be seen. We're people that don't put ourselves out front, but uh, we need to be put out front. We need to be seen and we need to be heard. And Allah's mercy and beauty. If people could just spend some time with us, I think we therapeutic to the world. This world is sick. Right. They sick in ways they don't know it. Mm -hmm. Even the ones that don't know, they sick. Uh, are sick, they're very sick, and they don't know it. If they just come sit around us <laughs> for a few minutes, or a few hours, uh, they can see that there's hope. <laughs> yeah. Alhamdulillah. So the uh, sister's going to come up, and I'm going to sit down, and hopefully we'll hear some good news from the Muslim Journal. That's, That's our, 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 our,